Hi, I'm James Berry. I'm one of the technical managers at the PCA. You join me today at the PCA Practical Training Facility uh, where we're going to be looking at um, our test wall. So we built a, a 30 by 6 solid wall, uh, 9 inch with a 6 and 1 um, line mix mortar, um, built in a bonded area with a damp substrate. Uh, the reason we built this is so we can do some experimenting. What we would like to do, or what we're going to do, I'm going to bring it to you as um, uh, an online offering. Um, we're going to do some experiment with various moisture detecting and, and measuring uh, devices. Um, so. What we've got here, and you can quite clearly see, we've got capillary rise in the wall already. Um, and we're going to start comparing various instruments. So we're going to be comparing what reading should get to a on a protometer and how that might compare to a FLIR and how that might compare to a Tramex so all the various and, and big brands that are available on the market. We'll also be doing um, some fairly quirky things. So we'll be using speed tests, a Gaussian carbide test, seeing how the readings compare on that. And we'll be using one of these, which is um, a microwave moisture meter. Um, some of you may have seen one of these before. Um, this is a German built device. Quite interesting, and we're going to see how that compares and whether it's suitable for measuring moisture on a wall like this. And we're going to look at sort of the advantages, disadvantages of each one and look at it in a real life situation or as close to a real life situation as you can, where we've got the sort of the luxury of this um, sort of time and, and we can and just do whatever testing we want on this wall. Um, you can see we've got a, a bit of skirting on there as well and, and the timber elements, we've got some joists built into the wall as well. Um, so we're going to use these devices, we're going to measure um, not only the masonry um, and the mortar in the masonry but um, the timber elements as well and see how those readings compare. You'll also see um, at one end we've, we've painted it and uh, we will be painting various other sections with different types of paint as well. Um, so this is a fairly standard emulsion. Um, we'll be looking at something that's really sort of high uh, vapor permeable. Um, we'll be putting that on this end and uh, comparing. This will be leaving a sort of a, a standard area anyway. So we'll be looking at how these compare, how they contrast. Um, we'll be doing a bit of gravimetrics on there as well, um, just so we've got sort of a, a benchmark to, to test all these devices against. So we think it's going to be really interesting. We don't think anything's been done like it before. We think you're really going to enjoy it. Please come along.